Hello everybody, welcome to Deluxe Collectibles, and today I'm going to be covering a brand new LEGO Marvel Infinity Saga reveal, and this is for set number 76200 Bro Thor's House, and I wanted to cover this because I have a bit of a twist that I want to throw into this news video here, but first off, let's go over some of the information here for the actual set, and that is that it's going to retail for $29.99 USD, and then $39.99 Canadian, and it should be releasing on August 1st of 2021 and this set here the bit of a twist that I want to throw with it is that it makes me think of like the ninjas sort of like gaming room basically you know how whenever they start off a season for example season 11 when they're just gaming all the time or even in the most recent one Seabound where you see Kai and Ray gaming together this makes me think of this and I'm trying to think of like an interesting twist to this video because it's just a general set reveal video so I figured why not kind of just discuss how I think this could actually be the ninjas sort of gaming room in some sort of way, but let's kind of break down some of the elements here that of course make it a Marvel set, and the main ones here of course are the minifigures included. Here we're getting Meek and Korg, and then Thor as well, who seems to be shirtless there, so I do like that quite a bit. I think the figures are quite good, even though personally I think Korg should be like a big figure, or like the new Thanos sort of big figure style. I feel like that would make a lot more sense with his size, but still, the figure doesn't look bad from what I can see from this photo, and Meek doesn't look bad either, so nothing bad to say about that, but then for the actual setup of the room, of course, a lot of people are trying to speculate whether or not there's going to be like a Fortnite sticker or print on the tile on the screen there. Now, I think LEGO probably will, I would hope, maybe just something that looks at least very similar to Fortnite if they're not able to do it exactly, but it would definitely be cool if they did something exactly like how Fortnite looks, so I think that would be great to see, but even elements like, of course, the pizza that is scattered around the room, I think that's definitely something that, of course, you can think of from Ninjago, even all the way back to the first season of Ninjago when they're playing the game on their uh, on their video game console, and you can see, like, when Cole picks up the pizza with the scythe of quakes, I think that kind of reminds me of this as well, so it's just kind of like, I feel like that could be a cool kind of twist, it's in the sort of diorama style, here. Maybe even if you have like a monastery mock or something, you could somehow incorporate elements from this build into that. So I feel like that could be a really interesting way to sort of twist it around, but there's definitely some interesting elements to this build. I can't say though that I absolutely love it. I don't think I'm going to be picking this one up. The figures are good, don't get me wrong, but I think we'll end up getting a future version of Korg at some point in like the Thor Love and Thunder sets when we wind up getting those eventually down the line. So, I think we'll end up seeing these characters once again. Of course, the bro Thor, I don't think as much, but still, I don't really feel like I need that figure necessarily, but I can definitely see why a lot of people would like this set. So, I want to hear your thoughts and opinions on this, and also, let me know your opinions on whether or not you think this could kind of be like the Ninja's gaming room. I think that could be kind of cool. That would maybe be the only thing that would tempt me to kind of want to get this set, but you could also probably just do a mock-up of that with just pieces that you have in your collection but still, I thought it would be kind of a cool twist on this news video since everyone's going to be covering this, so I thought might as well just kind of throw a bit of a twist into it that nobody else will probably wind up doing or connecting the dots with, so let me know all of your thoughts. I hope you did enjoy the video, and if you did, be sure to leave a like. Also, subscribe as well if you did enjoy. That would be highly appreciated, so thank you so much. I will see you all next time, and always remember, keep on collecting.